Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a review on this On Whey Protein Isolate. If you go back a couple of videos ago, I'll leave a link. I did a review on this particular whey isolate that I bought, uh, which is a great whey protein, um, worked really well for me. I had no gut problems, no bloating, etc. As it's an isolate, worked really well with me. Uh, unfortunately, this was ran out, and on Amazon at the moment, it's out of stock, so I can't buy it, so I had to get something different. So I thought I'd do a quick review on this while I've um, just literally just had a workout. I'm gonna use this protein right now. So this is another whey isolate. Um, it's by Arm, which is obviously a, a very good brand and company. Um, it was 28 pounds, I believe. Uh, it's got 31 servings. Oh, just another note, actually. This one said it had 30 servings. It didn't. It had about, I'd probably say about 21, 22, nothing, nowhere near the 30 servings it mentioned. So this has got 25 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of BCAAs. It's low in sugar and fats, as all isolates are, and low in carbohydrates. And this is the chocolate flavor. So um, I really found this one nice and easy to drink. So hopefully this one will be easy to drink as well. So this um, I've got currently in here um, half amount of almond uh, almond milk and then the rest is topped up with water. That's how I like to mix my protein drinks. So let's get this opened up and see what it's like inside. Okay, so just remove the lid. I'm just taking this seal off. They all have. It's so funny actually, they have these protein, but look, half the tub is actually empty. Most of it is just empty space. Don't know why they need to make these tubs so big stops you from able to fit in your cupboard nice and easy as well so it would be better if they made them lots more. Right, so now I've got to play a hunt for the scoop. Okay, so I found the scoop and it's a kind of a normal size scoop and that's what I expected to see actually when I bought this protein powder but look, they gave us like this whole shovel thing so huge in comparison um, which is, explains why I didn't get as, as many servings. So uh, let's just check out how many scoops you need for this. Uh, it just says add 30 grams or one rounded scoop to 200 mils of cold water and mix. So that, yeah, that's cool. So I'm just gonna get a scoop of this, like that, and add that to my milk and water. A few minutes later. Okay, so that's nicely blended up. And I'm just adding that to my container. Pretty much looks identical to the last one, really. So, so pretty much same consistency. Excuse the other fuel advertising on the side there, but okay. So, if you like chocolatey drinks, this tastes very, very weak. It tastes I can hardly taste any chocolate in it. The last one was very mild. It tastes a bit like Nesquik, uh, but this doesn't taste of chocolate at all. In fact, I can barely, if you gave that to me, I wouldn't know that it's chocolate. So it hasn't got a strong flavor in it, which means maybe it hasn't got as many additives in it. Um, but if you want something chocolatey, this probably isn't gonna be for you. And, and weirdly enough, actually, I was just gonna mention that I actually have got here, which I use in my porridge and things like that, just a natural whey protein isolate. This basically tastes, it's organic, it's grass fed, um, and it's got nothing else in it. And that's really good if you're gonna add that to things like you know, pancakes or porridge or waffles and all that kind of stuff. And I use that for that, it's made by Pink Sun. Very, very cheap, very, very effective. And that actually tastes very similar to this, doesn't taste much difference. So, uh, yeah, it's absolutely fine, but it doesn't really taste chocolatey. So if you want something with a stronger flavor, you may have to add some cocoa powder to something like that. You can get some organic uh, green and blacks cocoa powder, stick that in there to give it a more chocolatey flavor. Yeah, but, but other than that, yeah, it, it is what it is. So the other one was more chocolatey. This one is a lot more neutral in flavor. If you found this review useful, guys, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.